Well, I've done a small pot there. I lined it with uh, one one layer of this um, whatever you call that kitchen stuff because it's got a it's, it's got a slot on the bottom which I'll probably fill. But the water's coming out very clear, so that's something. So we've just got to find a spot where well, maybe I just put it here for the time being. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the perfect spot. There you go. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's just go to Spot Cullen. And uh, as you can see, I've put a... Uh, it's got a... It's driven quite nicely. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's doing the... <laughs> okay, hopefully I haven't got too much smeg on the camera. And uh, we go back to 49 area. And see how this one's going. Yeah, it's taking longer. Well, he's only got the one slot on the bottom, but we'll see. I reckon that's going to settle down to be a nice. Um, it's taking it can hold one liter of bark chips if we uh, we need it. So we'll, we'll, we'll first try it off with some fly traps. Probably next week or the week after. I don't know. And I keep watering it in to see how it goes. You never know. My, the, the eye might just wash all the way through or something, you know, or it may re totally react with the uh, newspaper cellulose and it changes its colour, disappears, I don't know. We're going to find out. But it'll be interesting to see if it's a safe form of iron and how quickly does it green, you know, and does it green faster than three weeks and, and so on and so forth. So uh, it'll be very interesting. And we'll put some fly traps in there. And we, if they start to grow and do this sort of bizzo, if they start to do what this one with the iron does, the impregnated iron, if I can get the spot colour fast enough before the clip runs out. Um, if it starts to do uh, that sort of bizzo, but more so, then uh, yeah, I think we're onto something. So, uh, <laughs> And then, then we just have to cap it with some uh, brown material, peat, coir, uh, composted orchid bark, well it's just bark basically, you might find that this is the, the cheapest and the best, if you can find a fine grade of this it would be better, so um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so you get the nitrogen coming down, you may get uh, added nitrogen coming up from that, now it's got the iron, it's fixing more nitrogen because the iron is one of the elements that can react with iron from the atmosphere, uh, and so on and so forth, though <clears throat> it may have to be in a particular form, it may have to be in this sort of impregnated safe form business so, but that would be my thesis or at an international conference if the plane tickets turn up uh, as I suspect they will one day when I just push the envelope just too far <laughs> again they say give this boy a series <laughs> yeah it's a good it's a goodies joke uh, okay oh yeah this one here by the way yeah this is like um uh, Oxford Scientific Films. If you go on my uh, Facebook site and go into uh, books, paraphern paraphernalia, CP books, paraphernalia, newsletters and paraphernalia, so there's a picture of a poster from Oxford Scientific Films from the 1970s, I think particularly 1978, and it has a picture of a trap that it looks identical to that. So basically, I've managed to go about 40 years, go back in the old TARD, in the CP TARDIS, and go back about 40 years. <laughs> So I'm matching something from Oxford Scientific Films 40 years ago. <laughs> okay, but I think we're going to do a lot better now. Now we've got ourselves a plan. Love it when a plan comes together. So you want the white wood underneath, maybe impregnated with iron, right form of iron. Maybe you can use charcoal instead of iron because it has iron in it apparently. And then you have your brown on the top and you just double flush it and you sit back and watch them grow basically. Okay, <laughs> over and out. See ya.